Hey, what's going on? It is that time for Word of the Day Wednesday. Oh my gosh, if you follow my story, um, I just got a car accident like an hour ago. Man, I thought today was going to be a good day. Like, I messed around and hit a triple-double playing basketball this morning. Anybody that plays basketball with me at 5.30 in the morning knows I usually don't ball like that. But I was balling. And um, I'm like, man, today's going to be a good day. Like, the AK is in the closet. I ain't got to pull it out. Um, went to a Bible study. It was good. And then freaking got in a car accident. Um, car may be totaled. And, uh, but I'm safe. I'm, I'm good. Um, the car's at the shop. I'm going to be on my Uber uh, grind for a little bit. But... Word of the day, Wednesday, still happens, all right? And it's funny because the, the verse that I was going to talk about literally speaks to my situation, right? Man, isn't God like that? Give you the answer to the test before you take it. So uh, word of the day, Wednesday. Come on, somebody. Psalm 90, 10 through 12 says, 70 years are given to us. Some even live to 80. Yeah, I hope I hope so. Um, but even the best years are filled with pain and trouble. Soon they disappear and we fly away. Who can comprehend the power? Your, your wrath is as awesome as the fear you deserve. Teach us to realize the brevity of life so that we may grow in wisdom. Woo! So much there. This is one of those, man, when I read this, that one line in there, man, got me so frustrated where it's like, but even the best years are filled with pain and trouble. Like, what? Even the best years? And you may be feeling like that too. Like, man, you know, uh, there was a promise in the Bible that I swear, like, I, I don't want it. You know what I'm saying? But we get it anyway. Jesus said, in this world, you will have trouble. But he doesn't leave us there. All right. He says in this world, you will have trouble, but he doesn't leave us there. I feel like so many times we get stuck right there and get depressed and have a pity party and just like, gosh, like trouble, like locked up. They won't let me out. Like, right. Second part of that verse is take heart because I've overcome the world. So you can, too. So I want to encourage you guys. Take heart, man. Gosh, I got in a car accident. I don't know if I got to get a car. I got all this. I got to call the insurance. I hit somebody. Like, crazy, right? Best years are filled with pain and trouble. Um, I still, to this day, can say that my worst day with God is better than my best day without him. My worst day with God is better than my best day without him. You could take that to the bank, I promise you. You know, because we're gonna we're gonna have trouble. We're gonna go through trials and tribulations. We're gonna, man, experience pain, trouble, even in the good times. Even when, man, things are going well, it just come out of nowhere. Um, but man, if you man have your life built on on the rock, which is Jesus Christ, if you have your man, him on the throne of your life. Even in that sentence right there, in your best years that are still filled with pain and trouble, you ain't got to worry about a thing, right? And the whole, you know, at the end, you know, it talks about teach us to realize the brevity of life so that we may grow in wisdom, right? Life is short. Life is short. And don't hold on to unforgiveness. Don't hold on to that grudge. Man, somebody, why you looking like Steph Curry, bro? I personally feel like I look more like uh, Ben Simmons. I don't know. You guys can comment and